Hey guys, Dan at Cartex710 here, and happy Friday to everybody. It's been a long week, you guys. I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes Fridays cannot get here fast enough. <laughs> it's scary because I actually like my job. I really enjoy uh, going to work, but I put in a lot of hours, and I just cannot wait to get home sometimes and just unwind, post some videos, share some of my pickups. And lately, I've actually been watching a lot of your Nationals videos. Uh, you know, I love... Um, you know, my wife's kind of reminding me I'm spending probably too much time watching them. But as you guys post them, it sounds like it looks like it was a great time. Um, you know, sorry I missed it. A lot of uh, great camaraderie going around. So I'm really looking forward to being a part of that next year if I'm lucky. Um, but in the meantime, some of my pickups. Uh, one I just got today, actually, is the 97 Bowman's Best Carlos Beltran and a PSA 10. Old school PSA holder. Really old school PSA holder. But... I really like the 97 Bowman. Or I like the Bowman's Best, too. It's amazing I don't have more of them because not only is it shiny, I, they got that nice kind of like 3D depth going on. And this card's really affordable. This is like 40 bucks, And uh, hopefully in a couple of years, you might get elected to the Hall of Fame. So One of my favorite sets of all time, uh, 1990 Larry Walker rookie, Leaf Larry Walker rookie in a PSA 10. Uh, great Montreal Expos. Uh -oh. I know a lot of you guys like uh, the Montreal Expo's uh, old uniforms, and so do I. So, great player, another possible Hall of Fame candidate, uh, hopefully this year. We'll see. But this is actually really affordable, too. I mean, um, you know, back in the day, I opened up a lot of 1990 Leaf packs, both Series 1 and 2. And uh, I actually never pulled one of these, but it's kind of a shame that the, the Leafs really aren't that valuable like, you know, we thought that we'd be. Because at one point they were the hottest set around, kind of like the first of the the premium packs, minus the '89 upper decks probably. But anyways, Larry Walker and the 2017 Topps Heritage Fernando Tatis rookie in a PSA 10. His minor league card or 2017 Topps Heritage. Um, you know, pretty promising player, uh, San Diego Padre. And a shout out to Scotty Tradition. He actually recommended I check out one of the Milwaukee uh, Brewers young rookies. And it's the 2017 Bowman Draft Keston Hura. I might even be butchering that. That's kind of scary. And his last name is, uh, you know, Japanese. And I, I should be able to pronounce that. But anyways, uh, this is the Sky, Sky Blue Refractor in the PSA 10. And I like this guy. I usually like the blue refractors because uh, Bowman's Chrome, at least, because they're usually numbered to 150. But the sky blue refractor is actually 190 out of 399. It's kind of weird. I don't know if you can see that. It's not really easy to see with the contrast. But Keston Hira. Like I said, I might be butchering that, and I'm Japanese. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Lately, I've been picking up a lot of uh, top Gold rookies um, various years. It's, I like them because they're they're numbered to whatever year they're they're made, and uh, a couple of them are raw and a couple are slab. But this is the 2017 uh, Tops Update Alex Bregman rookie, and like I said, raw, pretty good looking card, and it's really hard to see. Uh, I'll hold up to the camera, but this is 19, uh, 1974 out of 2017. It's right there. Pretty hot player right now. Um, Astros are, are doing pretty well, and I think the Mariners are, what, 20 games below 500? <laughs> so, oh well. Uh, the 2019 Fernando Tatis uh, Jr. rookie. Uh, this is raw. And is it me or the 2019 gold cards in particular? Very difficult because uh, even then, this is a little white speck in the corner and the plan was to send these to PSA but I don't know I guess we'll have to see maybe I'll have to just get one slabbed already this one's numbered 1864 out of 2019 again really good player or seemingly pretty good player this is the 2019 Pete Alonzo uh, gold rookie and again even though I looked the picture over and the scan really good it's got a little white corner so I don't know if it's just this year or, you know, it kind of has me worried because uh, 
I went ahead and because of that white spec, I went ahead and got this one. It's the Pete Alonzo BGS Rookie in a BGS 9.5. And this one actually looks pretty good with no white specs, but uh, the other kind of the alternate uh, BGS grading you can get, which is, doesn't have the subgrades, I guess it's the cheaper option of the two as far as uh, getting graded by Beckett, but still it's a 9.5. Uh, truth be known, I would rather get the subgrades and I would pay a little more for that, but still, I got this for like 80 bucks. And like uh, the PSA 10s of these rookies, people are asking like 300, you know, because right now Pete Alonso is doing pretty well. And my last card is the 2017 Tops Update Cody Bellinger Gold Rookie in a PSA 10. Sorry, it's hard to get this in the entire screen. And this is numbered. Uh, Shit, man. 1563 out of 2017. So, uh, probable MVP candidate. Yeah, it's kind of exciting because, like, him and Christian Yelich are kind of like neck and neck as far as uh, production. And, um, like, Christian Yelich has a legitimate shot at the Triple Crown if he can get his RBIs up. But I'm sure that Scott at Scotty Tradition will appreciate that. But otherwise, uh, as far as Dodgers go, Dodgers are smoking hot and. Cody Bellinger is our big reason why. So, anyways, that's it. And if you guys like videos like this, please uh, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching.